I think like everything with this industry is extremes, you know, and, and I'm, I would just bet my life statistically, there are people that come into it for the money and women and cars and houses and all that. And it's a, I imagine it's a slippery slope. I won't lie. Like there are jobs where I've had a couple jobs where I'm like, holy crap, I can't believe they just paid me this stupid, I mean, money to do something so trivial, you know, yeah. for, trivial, loosely speaking. Um, and so I can see how if you're wired a certain way, if you're young or immature, whatever, you're like, this is the best thing ever, Ferraris and cocaine. You know, I always use that joke. And it's just, yeah. I see if, if you have a weak foundation, it, it can be dangerous. But for me, I look at it and I've been kind of retroact retroactively applying stoicism to it. I mean, ironically, this is happening during the, the, the uh, coronavirus lockdown. And I, I mean, I even posted a meme today that I stole from somebody about like, wow, if, if you've never wondered what artists do, I'm not ne de de uh, negating healthcare workers right now. That's goes without saying. But if you, on the other side of the fence, if you've ever questioned about movies or TV or art or free podcasts, what are we all doing 24 hours a day? Like I, I, I'm a pretty active guy, but I almost feel like one of the laziest pieces of crap. Like it's like, oh, I better get dressed today for Simon. You know, <laughs> like I haven't been <laughs> dressed for a week. But I, we've all been watching Netflix, or right? you know, and and now, ironically, I wouldn't have had this answer for your question until this happened. Where this is why, and I, I've said this the following: I've read, uh, an acting class or a professor of mine made me write down like essentially why do you want to be an actor, and I wrote it down much more eloquently. So I've since uh, bastardized the wording of it, but the sh gist of what it was was I want to provide whatever. God, this sounds so coincidental, like I'm just making it up. But I've, I, I, I said this a couple of years ago, like in film, whether it's film or TV or whatever I end up doing, I want to provide whatever that person needs at that time in their life that gave them whatever it gave them for that duration of time. If it gave them escape, great. If it gave them motivation, great. If it gave them humor or uh, inspiration for love or motivation to join the military, whatever that person needed, and if I can be that conduit towards that, that's, that's my reward. It, and then if I get, to, you know, Godspeed, do it as, as a job to put food on my table, that's, you know, the icing on the cake. And I always post this video and it's, it's really lovey-dovey, but there's a video of a father with his little kid on his lap and they do a picture in picture of the kid. They show the footage of the kid is watching from the Superman movie, like the newer one. And you see the innocence of youth when the when Superman flies for the first time. The kid, like this kid, is probably not even a year old, and he got the concept of fantasy and and like you could tell. Like I'm getting the chills just thinking about it. And that I want to translate that to kids or adults. You know, I I hope anybody listening to this has watched a movie or a TV show, and and yeah, the grandiose swing for the fences is inspiration and motivation and go chase your dreams. That's awesome but even if it's like oh man my relationship sucks but this movie you know gave me some hope or it made me realize what i can fix in my life or a kid watching superman fly for the first time whatever that is and now in this coronavirus world it's even more important to me that to do that and hmm. even if it makes some kid go i'm going to be a lawyer and a doctor and not some insane artistic artsy artsy actor great you know that's good too you know yeah and so yeah that's whatever i can provide at that time is how i i look at it i'm really passionate that, about it. i really want to win this 